Hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood nerd violinist here. Today I'm going to be doing something a tiny bit different. Um, I know that 99% of the people here are anime fans and like 1% are fellow violinists. Today I'm going to be doing a product review and kind of like a contrast between two products. One that I've been using forever and the other one that I just bought like yesterday. And the product that I'm going to be unboxing today is the Bose S1 Pro speaker system thing. It makes instruments loud so you know. So I'm going to be comparing and contrasting uh, these two amplification systems in terms of violin stuff. So when I do these reviews I'm going to be playing some highly requested anime songs. So anyways, this video is mostly for violin players who are either thinking of going electric or are already electric because let's be honest, most electrified things are kind of normally catered to guitar players, bass players, you know, what have you, and we're just kind of left <laughs> mixing and matching and trying our own things. So uh, yeah. But if you do have questions about anything electric violin rated, you can boop, put a comment below, or you could do one better and just go to theelectricviolinshop.com or their Instagram page, and uh, that's where I got that's where I got my baby from. He'll probably be talking to Chris and or Matt, and those are some fantastic folk who helped me get my five-string custom-made Mark with Viper. Look at it, it's so beautiful. And if you want to see my kind of first reaction and unboxing of this three years ago, link in the description. But anyways, let's get down to business. <laughs> so here's, here's what it looks like. Oh, that's a fancy ring light effect. I'm gonna go get a knife. All right, let's get to cutting. Got that cable. Here's some stuff I could probably use for cosplay. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, so beautiful. Ah, very fancy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> uh, it's so little. And the first time I ever saw or used this was actually at a gig. It was like, there was a condo opening. It was pretty much, hey, what's up rich people? Uh, we got million dollar condos um, and champagne. And oh, look over there. We have a quartet. We have a guitar player, cello player, violin player. And I was plugging in that day to one of these bad boys. And I saw it and I was a bit skeptical because it was like so small and I'm like, Oh no, like this is gonna sound terrible. This is gonna sound nasally. And the very fancy and very smart guitar player Martin was like, don't worry, I gotcha. Actually, here's a video clip of us. who doesn't have a car and takes the bus and has arm and shoulder injuries um this is pretty great um let's put it on a scale and see how much it weighs all right Ooh, 15.5 that's not too bad at all and just for contrast let's weigh this guy okay what are you sir 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 get on there what number is that? Oh, oh there we go. So 22.5 pounds. So they're not actually too bad. I thought that one was going to be a lot heavier, but I think it's just the fact that it's so much more, it's so much boxier to carry. And this one is just a bit more streamlined. <sighs> okay, there we go. So that was the first comparison. And there really are only three kind of comparisons that I was looking for. So the next big reason that I bought this Sweet Baby Boy right here is the battery and a quick look here says that it has 11 hours of battery and of course it also comes with a, a cable and everything so you know if i need to if i can plug in sure but i don't need to it's 
fantastic. And honestly, I'm not really going to be talking about the specs because, um, I can't memorize those. I'm very good at memorizing music. I'm not very good at memorizing talking words or basic details. All right, let's go. I'm talking too much. <laughs> Welcome to the second camera. Hello. <laughs> so I just wanted to show y'all how this looks on top with all the, you know, kind of presets and effects and it, like, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And that's why I have been so hesitant to buy something for so long because I mean, look at, look at all this good stuff. Yeah. So I'm just going to turn everything off, everything down to get the kind of cleanest sound possible. Let's pull the tune. Okay. All right, what is a good anime song that y'all have been requesting? Um, ooh, I know. So again, it's pretty good. It doesn't sound as, I guess, like it lacks the reverb of a an acoustic violin it sounds a bit like a tiny tiny bit more nasally but oh no that's what effects are for and here it is with chorus <laughs> I love busking so much and it would be so much fun to like actually bring this out on the streets and play to people. So let's check the other one out. All right. Ooh, okay. So this is kind of like halfway. professional it's really nice it's not necessary but it is absolutely nice to have both electric and acoustic options that's kind of the same reason why I have my you know C string on my violin which makes it a five string like violin viola hybrid and this C string has got me a bunch of work as a you know technical viola player so again, it's always good to invest in, you know, different options that you can play around with and will help you be, you know, a more well-rounded um, person for hire. So crank the reverb all the way down. Let's play Jojo again. Check it out with no reverb and then like middle reverb and then like blasting the reverb. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> before this? Probably. Let's go half reverb. That's pretty nice. Alright, reverb has been cranked up. Let's check it out. treble, 
I'm just gonna keep everything in the middle. So there's one little thing that is not necessary, but just for me personally, a huge bonus, like a huge bonus because 99% of the time when I do electric violin stuff, I'm doing it along to either a DJ or backing tracks. This summer, I'm probably not gonna be doing a lot of work with DJs. It's probably gonna be more, you know, me, my violin, and my amp. So what am I gonna do about these backing track situations? Well, I'm glad you asked because we have the power of Bluetooth. <laughs> of those songs on my new bows let me know in the comments below but for now check out this gig I did in front of the vaccination clinic uh, like two or three weeks ago it was so much fun and the first time that I got to use this in a professional setting so yeah <laughs> I will lead you out of this video with some footage from that event so be on the lookout and like comment subscribe ring the bell <laughs>